Good morning to all. This is A. Shakira Parvin. I am working as an assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering in SNS College of Technology. So now let me see about a topic bidirectional RNN. So which comes under the topic uh, deep learning and under the subject artificial intelligence and machine learning. So this is a series video actually. So if you want to get a detailed note about this bidirectional RNN, kindly go through the previous videos and then come back. Then it will be easier for you to understand the concepts of RNN. So outline. So we'll be having a need for bidirectionality, typical uh, bidirectional RNN examples, and then the principle of BRNN, parameters of bidirectional RNN versus a deep directional RNN has multiple layers per time step. So training, general procedures, applications, and conclusion, and then finally summary. Bidirectional RNN. So what is the need for bidirectionality? So in speech recognition, the correct interpretation of the current sound may depend on the next few phenomena because of quarticulation and the next few words because of linguistic dependencies. So also it is a true of uh, handwriting recognition also. So where the bidirectional RNN can be used. So direction, uh, di uh, bidirectional RNN. So it is a com it combine an RNN that moves forward through time from the start of the sequence, right? So RNN is recurrent neural network. So recurrent neural networks have many types: conventional neural networks, bidirectional neural networks, recursive neural networks, right? So there are many uh, types are also there. So in bidirectional RNN, why there is a need? When we when we get the uh, detailed note about the bidirectional, what is the need of bidirectionality in RNN, then it will be easier to understand, right? So, another RNN that moves backward through time beginning from the end of the sequence and a bidirectional RNN consists of two RNNs which are stacked on the top of each other. So, the one that process the input in its original order and the one that process the reversed input sequence. So, the output is then computed based on the hidden state of both RNNs. So, this is the typical bidirectional RNN diagram. So, the maps input, it maps the input sequences in X to target sequences Y with loss L of T at each step T, right? So, how it is intercorrelated? We have to understand the concept over there. So, H is the recurrence propagates to the right and G is the uh, recurrence propagates to the left. So, this allows the output units O of T to compute a representation that depends both the past and the future. So, bidirectional RNN connect two hidden layers of opposite directions to the same output. So, this is the major concept. So, with this form of generative deep learning, the output layer can get information from past, uh, backwards from future or forward to states simultaneously. So, this is invented in 1997 by Suster and uh, Parival BRNNs were introduced to increase the amount of input information available to the network. So, for example, multilayer perceptron and time delay neural network have uh, limitations on the input data flexibility. So, as they require their input data to be fixed, right? So, this is the best example in bidirectional RNN. So, a standard recurrent neural networks also have restrictions as the future uh, input formation cannot be reached from the current state. So, on the contrary, the BRNNs do not require their input data to be fixed and future input, in the input information is reachable from the current side itself. So, BRNN are especially useful when the context of the input is needed. So, for example, in handwriting recognition, the performance can be enhanced by knowledge of the letters allocated before and after the current letter. So, this is the principle of BRNN. So, the principle of BRNN is to split the neurons of a, a regular RNN into two directions. So, one for the positive time direction and the another one for the negative time direction. So, backward states should be represented. So, those two states output are not connected to the inputs of the opposite uh, direction states. So, the general structure of RNN and BRNN can be depicted from the diagram itself. 
So these are all the parameters of bidirectional RNN. Next is how to uh, train the uh, machine learning uh, model. So general procedures for uh, training is given as follows. So for forward pass and for backward pass and for uh, after forward and backward pass, what are the steps to be done is listed out here. So these are all the applications, speaker recognition, translation, handwriting recognition, protein structure prediction, part of speech, dependency parsing, and then entity extraction. So all the, in all the fields, in all the applications, machine learning are very, very important. So hope you all understand with the concept. Thank you. Thank you.